Well, guys, I was going to show you how these things come out, but basically a lot of it just fell out. Um, there's an adjuster that goes across the bottom. It's just like a pair of brake shoes. You've got a spring on the bottom, spring on the top here, but this spring um, got wedged in there somehow, came apart. And then you have two uh, retainers for these shoes. And that's it, they come out. They're just a real bear to get this, uh, that spring right there in the top when you're putting it all back in. Um, the bottom was not too bad. You just hook it up and then put your um, adjuster in there and wedge the whole assembly up over the spindle. And then try to, you have to finger it and, you know, play with it to get that spring in there. It's not easy. And these, they're not easy to get in either because one of the pins comes through the back of the, the plate and you don't have no control over holding it from spinning. And this side, you can stick your finger up from behind the plate. <clears throat> but next, um, I'm gonna take the four bolts out. Yeah, here's the other pin. Like I said, it's stuck behind the plate. And, I mean, it kind of spins. It's not easy to get that one off. You gotta hold the, the plate on the end of the spring and stick a pair of needle nose in there and spin that. That's how I usually do it. And it comes off. Um, Pull your uh, cable, emergency brake cable out. You just push the spring back and weasel the ball up around the loop here. But uh, let me get these four bolts out and then you have to um, chisel to separate. Sometimes they come out fairly easy, sometimes they don't. I know the assembly that I built didn't come out easy. Um, I didn't want to take this line loose because I didn't want to break the system. So um, I just lifted the steel line up where it don't kink. Uh, yeah, we're gonna lose visual here. So it doesn't kink up in there and just suspend it just a little bit in the frame, just above the rotor so you can get everything apart. All right, let me get these four bolts out. Um, see, that's why I, I grind the heads off and then I hammer the rivets through, but I remember we're not using this spindle. I've already got another one. I'm afraid this one possibly, yep, it's bent. <laughs> Let's see if we can see it here. Let me set this up where we can see it spin. Okay. Yeah, that looks straight, but I don't matter. We're going to go ahead and reuse the one I built. So, all right, let me get these four. 9 16 bolts out or nuts off, and uh, we'll go from there. Stay tuned. <laughs> 